So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your very own mass code this side. So we are going to discuss the problem job sequencing here, and it is a very important problem and a very interesting problem as well. So you have you can see that there is an array of something arrays, right? There are arrays which contains three elements, right? Now what is these three elements? So these are all jobs. These are all jobs. So this particular array is array of jobs. Array of jobs. Now, each job has a job ID associated with it. The first member, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, is the job ID. Second member is the deadline. I will explain you what the deadline means here. And third member is the profit. So the problem says that each job should be completed before or on deadline. Suppose there is a deadline of 3. That means I have to get completed with the job beyond like on or equals to 3, right? Less than equals to 3, I have to get completed with that job. Now, it also given that each job takes one unit of time to complete. One unit of time to complete. That means if I start a job at 2, I will be able to finish at 3, right? Now, Profit, okay, so profit means that if I complete a job, I will get some profit and that will have to calculate. Now the problem says I have to maximize this profit. I have to maximize this profit. Maximize the profit. Also to mention, you can do only one job at a time. You can do only one job at a time. Right? What does that mean? So suppose... You are standing at time equals to 2. You are standing at time equals to 2. And like previous slots are all booked. And you have two jobs with deadline 3. You have two jobs with deadline 3. Here there are two jobs. You can only choose one of them to complete this slot. Right? You can choose only one of them. Right? Obviously, obviously because you want to maximize the profit. You will choose the one with maximum profit among these two. Right? Okay. So moving on. How to solve this problem? How to solve this problem? Now, whenever I see that there is maximizing the profit, my true sense, my innate personality says that it has something to do with the profit. It has, do some, it has something to do with the profits. So, how will I do that? How will I take that? So, my first personality says that take the, like sort the array on the basis of uh, profits. I tried this first attempt. Sort the array in descending order or based on the value of profits, based on the value of profits. So the array will now become obviously. Uh, let me tell you one thing extra that we have to return number of jobs do, done, number of jobs done. Along with the maximum profit. You have to tell two things. So, it is never needed that we have to count for job IDs also. Job IDs are actually useless in this question. They are not actually used, right? So, what I am saying, I am now will be skipping the job IDs whenever I will write, right? So, this particular array, after sorting on the basis of job in descending order, will look something like, do we concur that we do not need job IDs? Now, Suppose the given set of job, jobs to me are so looking something like this. 1, 40, that is deadline is 1 and profit is 40. Along with 4, 30, that is deadline is 4 and job ID is 4, right? Oh, deadline is 4 and profit is 30. Along with 2, 20. Along with, uh, let's say, 1, 6, right? 1, 6, okay. Arbitrary values. Now, if I try to implement this approach over here, what will happen, right? So, what I am say, saying is these are my slots. T equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I will require at least 1, 2, 3, 4, maximum 4 slots. So, that is I will have finished up till here, right? The game lies here. Now, these are actually sorted according to descending order in the, according to the profit value, right? So if I start from here, I will see that, okay, it has a deadline of 1, it has 40, let me assign it here. That means this job will be done for 40 profit, right? 
I move forward now it is obviously evident that I will be filling this interval I will be filling this with this lot I see 4 and the here deadline is 2 that is it can be completed so I will fill it with 30 fill it with 30 now 2 comma 20 comes in I say that it is never possible to do a deadline of 2 because it has already been filled so I cannot fill it and I will move forward I will see it is also not possible so I am saying that maximum profit is 70 with two jobs being done right this is actually happening but what if I say that for 1 comma 40 you can do this is exactly same now because this says 2 comma 20 I will prioritize it first I will say 20 here and because it is 4 I can do something like this 30 here right one is well, this can never be done so I am saying that now my profit is 40 plus 20 plus 30 which is actually equals to 90 with three jobs being done which is better obviously this one right so we are actually getting the fact that this is not possible this is not the perfect way to do it because it is giving some problems so what is the perfect way so we saw that deadlines also matter deadlines also matter so our first insight is deadlines matter and whenever deadlines matter my greedy algorithms kick in greedy algorithm so what does greedy algorithm say jobs which will end first should be done first should be done first okay that means instead of sorting according to the case of dead uh, profits in descending order sort it in the case of ascending order case of deadline so sort according to deadlines in ascending order in ascending order so if I sort them according to the deadlines in the ascending order, it will look something like this. I'm writing it down. So 1 comma 6, 1 comma 40. After that, 1 comma 6, 1 comma 40, and 2 comma 20 and 4 comma 30. 2 comma 20 and 4 comma 30. Simple. Again, I have slots. So let us take these slots. 0, 1, 2, 3. And a four right okay so now what will happen obviously I will fill the first slot first I will see one that is possible so I will fill it up with six right now the problem is that these two were uh, like these two were coinciding I can choose only one of these this is really evident that because there is only one slot available before one so I can fill and only one of these obviously I will have to choose 40 because it is giving greater profit and I've already filled with six I have already filled here with six so how should I replace it some of you will say that replace 40 with 6 replace 40 with 6 how to replace 40 with 6 that whenever the deadline is same but uh, then sort according to the uh, what do we say the profits but that is not a good way what I am saying is I have filled 6 I will maintain a priority queue I will maintain a min heap to be precise right I have maintained a min heap I say that pushing 60 here 6 here that I have a job whose value is 6 right I don't care about the slot it is if it is in the priority that means a sort has been provided to it when I come to 40 when I come here I see that 40 cannot be completed because I am already having a slot like I can fill only here but 40 is greater than 6 that means I can allot the slot of 6 I can allot the slot of uh, lowest profit job to current job in hand to current job in hand right so what will I do I will pop 40 out 6 out I will push 40 in that is instead of 6 I am doing 40 here right at last I do not need to give the arrangement of jobs I only need to give the like where is does the uh, where does the well, like which jobs I am choosing right Okay, moving on. 2 comma 20 can be easily done. So push 20 here, 20 here also. Then 4 comma 30 can be easily done here. So push 30 here, 30 will lie in between here. And then your work is done. You can see the sum here 20 plus 30 plus 40, and you can see the size of the priority queue also as 3. So 3 comma 90 is your answer. I hope that is clear to you. What did we do? We did something like this sort on the basis of. 
deadlines first point second point maintain a pointer that up till which time has been done so that is i'm, I'm saying a curve was initially here that i have completed all the slots before zero after doing one job curve came here after that job curve came here after that job curve came here right so i'm saying current equals to zero that i'm starting from zero maintain a min heap let us say it is a pq right now traverse the array so for i equals to zero up till n minus one first option can be that the deadline is actually possible deadline is possible that is if job dot deadline is greater than curve only then it will be done right so one can only be done if curve is at zero that is greater than if it is greater than then it can be done so what do we do we first do curve plus plus that is we found a job then push the value so pq dot push that value that is job dot profit job dot profit right else what can be the case else it can be the case that this job that is job dot profit is greater than it is greater than pq dot top then only i will replace it otherwise why will i replace it with the lower profit job in that case pq dot pop and pq dot push what do you push job dot profit right okay you will not increment curve here why because you are just replacing a job you are not adding a new job when the loop finishes when this else block finishes and the loop finishes you will just return curve and the sum of elements of priority queue sum of elements of priority queue which you can maintain from above also whenever you are adding you can just say points plus equals to peak uh, job dot profit right and when you are popping it out so points minus equals to uh, pq dot top also here when you are pushing so points plus equals to job dot profit right and you can just initialize points as zero here with curve that's all this is as easy as this question right let us try to code it down real fast so here is the coding section before in front of you guys now let us just start doing it so sort your array arr plus n uh, on the basis of a uh, comparator we will be writing the comparator here so static bool comparator and i will take a job j1 let us say and a job j2 and return j1 dot dead line that is j1 dot dead should be less than equals to j2 dot dead just that's it right it will sort the array now you have some pointers curve equals to zero for the slots have been finished up till this this time points equals to zero the current like maximum profit we will calculate here right along with it you have to keep a min, min heap so i will use a priority queue for that priority queue of int vector of int and greater of and this is the way you initialize a priority queue actually right of uh, initialize a min heap right now just traverse the array so for int i going from 0 up till n i plus plus what will you do you will say if arr i dot deadline is greater than uh cur that is it is possible to do it is possible to allot a slot to it then first point plus equals to it is points as it points plus equals to arr i dot profit along with that add it into the queue so pq dot push arr i dot profit and now uh, cur plus plus that is current slot is filled else if arr i dot profit is greater than pq dot top right in that case uh, points minus equals to pq dot top because we are going to pop it out then pq dot pop that element that current job has been that job which was on the top on the basis of profit has been popped out now pq dot push arri profit and now p uh, points plus equals to arri dot profit right now after this whole thing finishes return now if you try to think cur is actually the number of jobs right so you can just return pq dot size or you can do return cur also so i am returning cur along with the points right let us try to run it 
hope it will run fine and will not give any error. It is working fine for the sample test case. It should work fine for the backend test cases as well. It is running. Okay, the pointer is going up. And thank you for the 240 day streak. And please, before leaving the video, please subscribe to the channel because it really motivates me. Thank you. Have a nice day.